In the meantime, President Tinubu earlier today met former Lagos State Governor Akimome Ambode, uh, Kaduna Governor as well, Uba, in Asurok. The meeting is coming after the president met with Mr. Ambode at the state reception organized for him by Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu on June the 29th. The perceived return of Mr. Ambode to the mainstream of Lagos politics reportedly began with Governor Sonwolu's visit to his predecessor's home to celebrate the, his 60th birthday on June the 14th. There are indications that President Tunubu is considering Mr. Ambode for an appointment in his government with this meeting believed to be an avenue to conclude discussions on it. The president also received in audience the Kaduna State Governor, Senator Ubasani. In other news, the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress has refuted media reports quoting the national chairman of the party, Abdullahi Adamu, of saying that Governor Rotimi is incapacitated. The national secretary of the party, Iola Mishari, who led some members of the committee to Undo State, said the visit is to solidarize with the people of the state. Ayode Jimuradeo reports. This is a solidarity visit by members of the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress, APC, to Ndo State. The visit by the committee, led by the APC National Secretary, Iyola Omishori, came at a time Many reports are coming out of the state about Governor Akredolu's ill health and alleged division within his cabinet. I forced the chairman of the party as the meeting secretariat. Omi Shure assured APC members in the state of the support of the party leadership. He refuted claims that the party is facing crisis in the state, saying APC under the leadership of President Bola Tinumbu is solidly behind the people and government of Ondo State. Omi Shuri condemned the way the statement made by the APC national chairman from Governor Akredolu's health was twisted by the media. We are together in this state. The state assembly, the state ESCO, the party and the, all of you are working together as one team, which is a replica of uh, stability and quietness in this state. So anybody falling sick should be an issue. We are, we, we, are all, we are all successful to illness and to be ill. And I made them realize that I spoke to the governor in the last one week and it's getting better. I need to come back to work. The state acting governor, Loki Aye Datiwa, said the state cabinet remains focused and united in the face of the rumor being peddled in certain quarters. Let us try to ignore some of these uh, news from social media so that they are not true. We should try to dispel as much as we can some of this uh, falsehood. But today, we want to thank you once again on behalf of Mr. Governor for coming to solidarize with us. We all know that Mr. Governor is on medical... The state chairman of the APC, Ade Aditi Menyi, said the party remains an indivisible entity. The party and the government and the legislator, we are one family. Even in the absence of Mr. Governor, the acting governor can bear me out. We are together. We are united. We are working as one family. Top government officials, party chieftains, and members of the State House of Assembly attended the meeting. Ayodeji Moradeyo, TVC News, Akure. Over the years, Endo Village in Nasarawa State is known for peace and friendliness to both strangers and locals. But the peaceful nature of that community is now being threatened, and this is because of a tussle over mining rights between two companies. For their safety, the community wants the Chinese companies to cease operations. Sifon Essien reports. The youth of Endo village in Nasarawa state have had enough of a tussle between two companies over rights to a mining site. They are out to resist further operations by the companies owned by Chinese nationals until the rift between them is sorted out. But they are outnumbered by the security operatives at the mine. Our camera is not allowed to come closer to the scene. The struggle is one the youths have vowed not to give up on. The agrarian community has lithium in commercial quantity. The soft silvery white alkali metal has several industrial applications. It can be used in the production of lithium batteries. 
These are foreigners who come to our land without, without consent, without a proper license. They are being guided by soldiers, guided by uh, DSS. Now the Chinese companies got a lease from the landowners and licenses from the authorities to operate the mine. Last year, in July, we signed an agreement with one company to allow them to use our land for mining. But another company showed up and made us sign another agreement with them under duress. But we no longer want any of them on our land. Companies owned by Chinese nationals are extensively involved in mining across Nigeria. Leave it. Leave it. Because it's the one cause all this confusion. That's what Baba want now. And all of us, that's what we want. On this day, an effort by the community to resolve the issue fails. Now, there are concerns things could get even worse. You don't have legal license, you don't have legal consent. Even if you purported to have a consent, that consent was defective. The rules for getting any consent, you, sorry, any license, you must have the consent of the community. Although the use have resolved to get the companies to resolve their differences or stop mining operations, there are fears there could be a breakdown of law and order. See Fon ACN, TVC News, Nasarawa.